Hello, YouTube. How are you? A little bit smoky. I apologize. I'm in the, down in the shop today. I haven't showed you the shop. The shop came with a house. But the uh, shop, the guy who built this house was a genius. He's also a woodworker, which I'm really not. But uh, he was smart enough to utilize the space under his garage. So there's a door right behind me there. That goes into like a little storage area. But on the other side of that, which I think the doors also open up going in there, are uh, like a family room downstairs. We got a couple bedrooms. There's a bar down there. And we got my alcohol. And uh, so forth. So he built a uh, kind of a three-room shop under the garage. The nice thing is that there, it's heated from the house. There's vents coming in here, but there's no cold air return, which means you can smoke a pipe here and it, or work, dust, everything, and it doesn't go through the house. Smart. So... I have tools down here, and this is where I do work, but it's also where I smoke my bike. And it's cold out, so I'm coming down here. Maybe I'll walk you around a little bit. There's my buffing wheels and knife grinder. There's some wrenches and stuff over there. Hunting stuff, like the bow hunt. Some tools there. Some tools there. Walk through this shop door. There's a, uh, you know, some miscellaneous wood, some workspace. My wife's doing some crafts. This is where we have all of our chemicals. Go through this door. And then is where he had his woodworking stuff. And there's some wood there. Wood closet. So when I say I'm in my shop, that's where I'm at. <coughs> Down here. So, this is where I do a lot of my stuff, bench. It's got, it's got a sink in it and everything else. <clears throat> and then right through there's a basement, the downstairs. So, I'm smoking my downhill and smoking some Magnum Opus. So I didn't like how my tobacco was. Last year I bought almost zero tobacco. And so because I went on this thing saying I got all these tobacco in jars like this. This one here is uh, Sleepy Hollow from Strauss. We got all these jars, pint jars of tobacco. And they're piling up so much I can't even see what I have. And so I... Uh, Last year I said, you know what, I'm not going to buy any more tobacco until I get rid of some of this tobacco. So I didn't buy hardly anything. I bought some for the cruise. Pick up, picked up a can here and there on my travels. But that was about it. Got to the end of the year. Still not happy with my tobacco situation. Watched... Um, Mutton Chop Piper's video. Love how he, you know, displays his. If you've ever seen his video, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go subscribe. It's very informative. So, uh, I had a some time off of it at Christmas, and I thought that's my goal. Figure out how to 
display my tobacco better. Not really for a display per se, but that I could see what I have and I could, you know, get some variety and smoke a little more tobacco. So. so I came up with this idea. Not a photographer. <laughs> so I thought, you know, most cans around anyway. Maybe I can just Google the can, put it in a PowerPoint or something and scale it down. And that's good enough. I'll cut it out and put it on the top of the jars. So that's what I did to all of my tobaccos. So I told you I'm smoking Magnum Opus. This is what all of my jars look like now. This is Heart and Hall Magnum Opus. I didn't do anything other than um, Googled Magnum Opus, Hearth and Hall Magnum Opus, went to images on Google, opened the image, saved as a picture, or saved it, you know, saved it, opened it up in Microsoft Paint. Um, and I kind of went, took the eraser and erased all the can part um, to where it got just to the part I liked, which is just to the picture. Literally, that's what I did. Copied it into like a PowerPoint or something and scaled up my printer. If I scale up 4.1, it comes out that size. Perfect. So, <clears throat> problem came in, or like Golden Slice, or Penzance, or Stonehaven, or something, square cans, or rectangle cans. So then again, I copied the picture into paint. Basically, um, you know, I think it's the eyedropper that colors, that copies the picture, put the eyedropper, hit the picture I wanted, drew a circle, and basically then colored in all the surrounding areas. Did a little artistic tough stuff with some blending and stuff, but all in Microsoft Paint. And, and, and then copied it in PowerPoint and printed it. So at the end of this video, I'll walk upstairs and uh, I'll show you because I got it in my, I got it in my office. I went to, um, I went to World, what's it called? World something store. World market. They had a cheap little wine, uh, uh, pine wine rack for wine bottles. So I just slide those in. There. I got one that holds 48 bottles. Slide those in there, 46 or something. Slide the jars in. Now I can see all of my tobaccos. Took me a while, cause I, but I didn't hit it hard. I did three or four or five a day, and in a few days, week maybe. Some days printed more, some days less. But in about a week, and I'm all done. Now I'm pretty happy with them. So, not talented like um, Mutton Chop. Just Google images, Google Hearth and Home Magnum Opus images, copy it into paint. Erase, because basically in Google, it's the can they take a picture of. So that's just a picture of the can from Google Images. And I uh, used the little eraser and erased the can, drew a circle around it. This one happened to be in black so that I could get that circle shape. Copied it in PowerPoint just so I could print it nice and easy and scale it. Scaled it, printed it, done. So, let's go for a walk, and I'll show you upstairs. I'll show you my 
in my uh, office area. So, going right through. This is kind of the, you know, where the furnace and stuff is. And there's my bar. It's all my scotches and stuff. So, let's go. Right up here. And <clears throat> this is my uh, this is my office. And right here. Are my tobaccos. You can see. <clears throat> that's them. So that's how I did my project over, over Christmas break. So you guys have a great day. Enjoy your pipes. Keep making your videos. I do watch them. Simplify. God bless. Ooh, rah.